I've worked with the director, Andrew Games, before, and I knew that it was going to be um, a fun project to get involved with. And it's nice that you can trust the director. So that 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 really appealed to me. And it was just an interesting script. I hadn't I hadn't done anything like this before. And I just wanted to challenge myself. So I thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. Me and Andrew have known each other now for about five years. So we've worked together in 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 theatre. We've worked together in non acting projects. Um, and I feel like Andrew's always had an eye an eye for um, creating work, not just um, acting. You know, actually writing, directing, filmmaking. Uh, using all his own equipment, so I kind of I wasn't surprised that this it was it was going to happen eventually. I knew it would happen. It was just a question of when. Thomas is quite a fragile young man. He's a he's he's a bit troubled. He he was he was bullied by. Marty, the main character, um, they've got history, they went to school together and they don't have a good relationship at all. Um, so he, he, is, he is very much a victim in this. Um, we, know, we know that Marty is not a, not a good guy and I think Thomas knows more than anyone how much of a bad guy Marty is. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of knowledge of that particular era, if I'm being honest. Um, the, the 1950s East London teddy boy scene was not something that I knew about really before I did this film. So I've definitely learned, um, learned something new there. Research wise, I, it was mainly just trying to get the, the, the accent down. It's a very particular accent, the way they speak, because it's not just like a London accent, it's a 1950s London accent. So research wise, I watched, you know, ma mainly Guy Ritchie, gangster type films, Snatch, Lock, Stock, Two Smoking Barrels, just to kind of get a bit more comfortable with that, that type of Cockney accent. Well, I actually got to see um, a sneak preview of it before it was released, um, like a, like a a cut of it, not a final cut. Before I actually signed on and and uh, filmed any of the scenes that I was in, at my first rehearsal and read through with with Andrew, the director, um, he he did show me um, some snippets of the trailer, and I just thought it looked really really well made, really well polished. I, I liked the style. Um, I thought it was authentic with the with the set, the costumes that they really captured that type of era, the look of it. It looked legit, and it made me really excited to get involved. It's been a lot of fun. It's been really, it's been really enjoyable. It's only been an, a positive experience, really. There's, there's been no, no dramas, no, no drama queens. Just we've all had a laugh and it's 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 been really nice to meet new people and and it's it's really enjoyable to see like the behind the scenes and the how you know the setup of the shots and and stuff it's been it's been really interesting really eye opening It's not a well known topic like I mean, I myself didn't know much about the teddy boys of the 1950s East London, especially now in popular culture. I feel like it's it's nice that it's come back around and there's there's going to be obviously a lot of people that don't know about that particular era or about these types of people that lived in London in, 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 during this time. So I feel like it's, it's, it's a good time to kind of bring that back. Well, I feel like just being on set, you definitely learn how difficult it is to put together a film. Um, you really learn to respect 
the crew from, you know, sounds to set design, the whole costume department. It's, it really is a team effort. And I feel like you definitely, you definitely learn to respect everyone that's on a film set. It's not just about, you know, the director and the actors. There's a whole team of people that you don't get to see um, that are just as, if not more important to the production of the film. And it's, it's really nice to be part of that. And it's really nice to see people working and being passionate about what they're doing. So I feel like what I'll take away from this is, I mean, I've always had a massive respect for filmmakers and, um, and the crew and every, and everyone, but it, it does make you appreciate how much work goes into making a film. So it's, it's definitely something that I'll take with me.